In today's video, we're checking out a GNL. This is the Fallout, which is an offset kind of body shape. It's loaded with a P90 in the neck and a humbucker in the bridge. This thing is ultra light and it's a good point of difference from just about every other guitar in recent times that I've showcased on the channel. It's pretty cool. We'll talk more about it in just a moment. But firstly, let's hear how it sounds. GNL Fallout up close. Now, the first thing I love about this is its weight. It is extremely light. It's far lighter than most Strats or Telecasters that I've ever owned. So, if you're looking for a lightweight guitar that's a little bit different, give this guy a look. Now, the cool thing is we get a P90 neck pickup and this really rocking humbucker in the bridge. We get a very different design on the bridge section over here. It's not a string through body, it actually just strings through from the back here, we get one volume control, one tone control, and a three-way toggle switch. The tuners on this guitar are USA-made Spiegel tuners, so they're very reliable in terms of their tuning stability. If you're unfamiliar with GNL guitars, they're made in Fullerton, California, and this particular one is here at Jerry's Lefty Guitars in Sarasota, Florida. If you wanna check it out, I'll link it down in the description. I think the biggest selling points for something like this would be the fact that it's as light as it is, and it's a good point of difference. So if you're looking for something different from your standard Strats or Telecasters or whatever the case may be, give this guy a look. I'll link it down below. I'll give you my thoughts about it at the end of the video. All right, let's kick it off in today's video. I'm plugged into a Hot Rod Deluxe with a Celestian Vintage 30 speaker. We're gonna start clean. Just know we're on a P90 pickup and in this room it suffers from a little bit of electronic buzz. It has nothing to do with the pickup itself. This is neck pickup, here we go. So as you can hear, it's a nice P90 tone, minus of course the buzz I was just speaking about. Over to bridge pickup. Here we go, it's a humbucker, so no buzz. It's got a lot of output if we turn down, it should clean up nicely.
All right, now over to both pickups combined with the volume down to start with. Now with the volume all the way up. Now this guitar also allows you to split the bridge humbucker into a single coil so you can kind of get like that typical Telecaster tone if you're in both pickups position in the center here or just on the bridge. So this is the humbucker mode to begin with. Does that tally tone pretty well? And lastly, over to both pickups, but with the split on the bridge pickup. Let's try some dirty tones now. Thanks to the Royal Flush Dual Overdrive pedal, this is just the left hand side. Bridge pickup in humbucker mode. So I switched it over to neck and the neck pickup really has a great voicey tone with a little bit of dirt. And lastly, with the gain cranked on both sides of the Royal Flush, we'll start on the bridge pickup and then I'll switch it over to neck again. <laughs> Thanks for watching folks, my name's Shane. I'm gonna give you my thoughts about the GNL Fallout electric guitar. So there's a few things that you need to know about this. One, it's extremely light. It's one of the lightest guitars I've picked up in the shop so far. Not to say there won't be lighter ones than this, but considering it's a solid body electric, it's very, very light and comfortable, at least seated like this. If you're a standing player, I don't think you'll have a problem with it if you're doing a gig. Obviously there's a lot of buzz in this room, but the neck pickup, that P90 sounded great. As soon as I started stacking on drive, I think that's where it really shines. Interestingly enough, I didn't love both pickups on at the same time. It had this sort of out of phase thing going on, which some people really love if you're a fan of Peter Green, those kind of tones. But for what I like, it's just a little bit different. I wasn't expecting that when I first picked it up and played it, but that sound is very popular. So that's up to you whether you not like that or not. The bridge pickup sounds great. Clean, dirty, with lots of gain. You can just go crazy for your solos. I love this guitar simplicity. So one volume control, one tone control with that push pull and a three-way toggle switch, so it's pretty good there. Um, tuning stability wise, once we got this in tune, it's been great. These are made in Fullerton, California, and if you wanna check this one out, it's available at Jerry's Lefty Guitars here in Sarasota, Florida. So check it out in the links below. Thanks again for watching, catch you soon. See ya.